If you love the idea of mindful eating and healthy living, join me, Izal Hoffman, lifestyle chef, food editor, and author, as we explore ways of achieving health and balance. Life gets busy, but when your home technology is connected into one simple to use automation platform, it helps take away some of those little daily stresses. Now, a true smart home system helps make life more convenient and your home safer, more mindful, and easier to enjoy. My guests today are experts in this area. Siblings Robert McGill, Paul McGill and Michelle Crocker enrich the lives of others by sharing their passion for audio, video and home automation. They're a family-run business called Sound Experience and place high value on family time. Welcome Robert, Paul and Michelle. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. So lovely to have a whole family here. Yeah. <laughs> now, they often say you should not be working with family, but from what I can see in front of me, things are going absolutely great. <laughs> we, we, we're very good at faking it. Oh, well, there's that saying, fake it till you make it. Right? Yeah. Now, before we learn all about smart homes, let's talk a little bit about mindfulness. What does mindful living mean to you, and where did it all start, Robert? Thanks, Ezel. We basically started 20 years ago, so we've been doing this for, a, for a, a very long time. I actually started working at a video store and the client or the, the owner of the company at that time allowed us to run a small little AV business at the shop. And from there, um, things just grew. We went into DSTV and uh, through the big DSTV phase. We were one of the biggest DSTV installers in the East Rand and we advanced with technology and we got into the home automation and custom cinema space. My brother and sister have been with us pretty much from the day one. Michelle is, had, was behind the counter at our, at our store since she was 16 years old. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they grow up so fast. <laughs> they do. <laughs> and Paul, where did you fit into the picture? I didn't hear your name. <laughs> uh, Rob sells it. I, I make it work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that, okay. That's how now uh, let's talk mindfulness at home. Can you guys tell us more about about what you do. Rob obviously briefly touched a little bit on that and how this creates a more mindful home and living space in your view. So basically what we do is we take a house and create it a home. When we install lighting and lighting automation, it's not simply a gimmicky thing that turns the lights on and off. It actually creates a unique space that you can create memories with your family. What we like to do is we will install whole home audio so that you can play music throughout your house in different areas. It also forms a soundtrack for everyday living. And um, when it comes to like the hospitality automation, what is that all about? So your hospitality automation is basically pulling what you have at home and putting that into a hotel room. So you have the convenience of the curtains opening themselves. Your temperature will always be correct for you. It's it's really just taking that that experience of living at home and giving you that comfort in a hotel room wherever you are in the world. It's so funny you guys say that because usually people go on holiday to experience luxury. But from what I understand from sound experiences, you guys create the luxury at home first. And then you also show people what they could have had when they had to go on holiday, right? 100%. 100%. So our clients are generally, uh, they have pretty luxurious homes anyway. Mm -hmm. And obviously when they go on holiday, they don't want to downgrade. So that's where the hospitality automation oh. comes in. There is certain brands, brand of hotel, that have actually adopted, uh, say for instance, the Lutron products. Mm. And they try and keep the experience throughout. And just if I can add it, it also allows the hotels to offer, we're all about experience and being better than the others. That's what it, 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 it really creates a space where they can stand out from the rest. Mm. So they are doing, when you visited a, a, a certain hotel and it has this Lutron automation system in it, you know you've experienced the best money can buy. It, no matter the views and all that, that just that extra touch of, of class and, and automation and functionality in your room mm. makes it a, a a complete different experience but let's for instance walk through a potential house now right how sure. can you put that emotion almost in a home so now i get to the front door unlock the door and what is the possibilities 
Well, you you don't even need to unlock your door. <laughs> you can walk toward the front door and press a button on your on your app, and your door will unlock itself. Then you just open up, and that's when the magic starts. And I, I think the best person to ask that question is is Paul, the the integrator, and <laughs> who creates this experience on a daily basis. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'll give you an example. We've got a client in Bantry Bay, a beautiful part of the world. He wants it a little bit extra for the for the space for the extra yeah well 100 (laughs) percent. so what we did is um he's got blinds and curtains obviously for privacy everything but um there's a there's a beautiful view so what we've done is we've created basically an occupancy scene inside the house so if there's someone home then you don't ever want to be looking at the back of a curtain as opposed to a sea view of cape town you know so when you open the door there there's sensors that pick you up and there you go. It opens the blinds and the curtains, opens that all for you. So you have that, wow, this is why I, um, I, I, I purchased this property. <laughs> you know? Oh, wow. So it's almost like if, as if someone was there before to get everything up and running. Yeah. It's amazing where technology have advanced to and how quickly it actually got to that point but you know now you've told me about my living space walking into you know curtains and all of that but what for instance would you be able to do for me in my bedroom yeah with music being the soundtrack of your life it just creates that little bit extra atmosphere so Mm -hmm. you can have a say for instance you've got a button in your in your bedroom that's good night that switches the rest of the house off so Closes all the curtains. I, I need to interrupt you. So I don't have to switch anything off. The little button next to my bed does all of that. That's it. You just press good night. The rest of your house switches off. Like I've got kids at school going age. When I switch off, it switches everything off. If there's TVs in their rooms, audio, everything, it's now bedtime for everybody. I've now switched it off. And winter, so I had a beautiful fireplace going. Will that also switch that off? It can switch that off and it can switch it on as well can automate most things in a house <laughs> <laughs> no like i'm just getting excited like that's why i keep like testing you what about this and what about that and how about yeah. coffee in the morning like i'm really a coffee person paul what can you do for me there <laughs> so um <laughs> we, we, we we actually have a button at the, at the you office have a button for that in, our, in our showroom <laughs> yes. that, uh, that says uh, coffee service requested in the master suite <laughs> so i don't know if the kids will ever listen to that but the <laughs> you know <laughs> The tea lady might. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're not there just yet, but uh, I'll put that on my wish list for next year. You, you know, <laughs> there are products that uh, you know have a, have a timer on it. <laughs> and unfortunately, they're not integration friendly just yet. Yeah. But there are pet feeders and you know things. pet feeders too. So you can feed yeah. my dog. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Basically. Oh yeah. my word, people! It's like you're living in the future here. <laughs> <laughs> we really are. <laughs> Clearly, you guys must obviously also work with maybe architects and people designing maybe specific things from scratch. Do you do you work with that kind of caliber of person as well? Yes, hundred percent. So we, we've obviously learned quite a bit over the years, you know, with the architecture and everything. And um, what, one of the biggest things we've learned is that uh, with lighting automation. Um, it's not really so much about, okay, I want to switch a light on so I can see what's happening in this room. The architecture is a piece of art and it needs to be lit up in a certain way to to make it stand out. And that's where the automation comes in. You push one button or in the evening a scene comes on and it lights it to be perfect. So we then would sit with the lighting designer one evening and say, okay, is this what you had in mind? And they go, wow, I didn't know it could look so good. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. and things like that. And uh, the the best thing for me to get is uh, at, at the end of the day, we hand over the project and the clients are just standing there, way, you know, shaking their yeah. head going, wow, this is... I, I never thought this was possible. Yeah. yeah, because the reason I'm asking is like my mom's a landscaper. Okay. And uh, I grew up on a farm. Dad's a farmer as well. So, you know, with mom being a landscaper, she always used to say, you know, she can never really show a client what she's capable of if she doesn't really have a clean canvas. So that's why I was asking the question because sometimes all the people that design spaces, not just homes out there, might not know what the latest offering and possibilities are, you know, from, from a sound experience maybe or an automation or home automation perspective so i think it is quite important that you guys also work with these people for that mm. wow factor specifically yes, we, so 
the the biggest thing with automation is that we're not going to come in there and put everything from speakers and different AV equipment throughout the house. It's got to fit seamlessly and not take away from the, the end product. Over the years, all the major brands have really done that very well. We've got everything from in-ceiling speakers to speakers that com could completely be hidden away to be plastered over that you won't even know there's a speaker. Oh, wow. So, And if you look in the design of, of floor standing speakers and that these are made to look like pieces of art, it's not made to just have a big square ugly box there. And we always say it's the wow factor. So <laughs> <laughs> she's like, we're not doing automation because you have an ugly speaker we have yeah. a solution yes. there are ways to do it and taking into that into consideration yeah. is, is the the design from the architect and the interior designer now it's the reason crucial. the reason oh, i'm also asking now for me you know i would say the ultimate home should have any and everything you would want to pretty much leave your premises for but then you don't because you've got all of that beautiful convenience at home. And yes, I'm not a big person when it comes to TV, but I love a good movie. So uh, how about a, a cinema room, people? Definitely. <laughs> I must say cinema rooms are, are a highlight. And um, we've joked before as well, you always say the kitchen is the heart of the home. And part of me feels that uh, that should be moved to the cinema room. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> now that you say that, you know, as kids, we used to love going to grandmother's house because we always used to make like a Christmas bed in front of the TV and really try and see how long we can stay awake or do an all-nighter. But the crucial effect was always the, the movie we are watching, you know, and that's when I, yeah. I think back when you said video store, <laughs> where it all started, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, the most exciting part of a Saturday was going to the video store and see if your favorite movie yes. was available, you know. Yeah. And yes, nowadays you go and watch a mu movie on a big screen and you sit in a chair that... 20 other people maybe have mm. sat in before you arrive there and you know just to have that ultimate convenience at home that for me is the ultimate absolutely oh. and um home cinema is actually something i'm secretly a little bit passionate about because you know movie directors they spend so much time creating a scene and to put yourself in the middle of that scene and recreate it in your in your own living space is just incredible to me so we have home theaters that will produce a dynamic range so um you can always tell you have a cheap speaker when um the voices are really soft and all of a sudden when there's an explosion and then it's super loud and overwhelming but with these home theaters and the way that they were mixed and mastered in the studio it's a dynamic range where that it can handle the whisper that you hear at its correct level and you're able to hear it with crisp clarity all the way to these massive explosions where the the power from the subwoofer is rumbling your chair it's just absolutely incredible and dolby atmos does an amazing job at doing that really well <laughs> now why do you make me think of saving private ryan like you want to tell me i'm going to be in the middle of that that yeah. bomb explosion and it's like you the soldier with the popcorn and the slushy you know not the one holding the gun <laughs> so what one thing i love to do to clients when i demo them their cinema take your pick of any movie i have a couple of scenes that i like to do um and what i'll do is i'll let it run and then just in the middle of the scene pause it and see the confusion on their face because then it's like it's like oh i'm st i'm still at home you know yeah. <laughs> it draws you in so it, much yeah it, it yeah. makes you literally forget about your day it's a complete different experience now talk about movies and snacks and all kinds of things like that clearly i'm very passionate about food and healthy snacks uh, you know specifically but between the three of you who would you say is the best chef Rob. Definitely, Rob. <laughs> oh, so it's usually Rob Sunday, Sunday lunch at Rob's house, right? Yes. And Surprisingly, who, no. <laughs> <laughs> hint, hint. And, who's no. The, and who would be the worst then? Shame. Uh, <laughs> we'll just look at, in Paul's Prob direction. Probably me. <laughs> he, has his, he has he his, his go-to his, meals. Yes, he has sure. his go-to meals. Sure. But, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, I did think I was the better chef. I didn't want to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and the, the reason I'm asking is usually with families, especially big families, you always have that classic favorite your mom makes on a Tuesday night, you know, and it's sort of that that's sort of the recipe that just stays in all homes, irrespective of who you marry and where you move to, you know, it's just that classic mom favorite. So what's yeah. the mom favorite in the McGill house? Sure. Uh, she's got a couple. Probably her, her lasagna is great. Um, a, a big change that's happened over the years is we've all learned about healthy eating. 
Ah. Is that uh, we're <laughs> the meals aren't like they were when we were children. <laughs> um, and 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 crazy enough, that's uh, like we love your book, uh, Isel. Um, Thank you. You've got some really awesome and and really a, a mindful eating. That's it's what has to happen now. So it it definitely guides us in the right direction. We may cheat a little bit on there or, or a few little e- extra or, or a lot. <laughs> but um, I'll tell you, that's the biggest change to our, our mom's mm. cooking. This the, these days. Yeah. <laughs> now, I always call my book. It, it's not a cookbook. It's a change the way you see food, or you change your perception about food books. So, I always say to people, take my recipes. If you can read and you can follow instructions, you will make a beautiful meal. But make it your own. If you feel like, for instance, Isal could have had chili to this recipe, but she didn't. You know, add it to it and make it your own. So, you know, we all have different palettes and favorites and ingredients that we may or may not like. And um, yes, that is just a guideline to good food can just be as tasty and still yet be healthier. And sometimes even, you know, it might taste even better. So maybe give it a try sometime. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, thank you so much for coming in and appreciated your time and insights and sharing some of your expertise and, you know, everything else that goes with that. Yeah, thank it's you. only a pleasure. Thanks so much for having us. <laughs> oh, thank you very so, much. Now, today I encourage people from all walks of life to rethink how they see their home environment. Quality over quantity, always. Focus on the quality of the space you call home. If you invest in the things that matter, things that set your soul on fire, you will always see your home as a place to recharge, reset, and the solitude that goes with it. As author and motivational speaker Jim Rohn always say, take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. And that includes mental health and being mindful about it too. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Isal Hoffman. Thanks for joining me as we journey towards mindful living. Find more at jacarandafm.com. Click on Jackpot.